Recently, I have tested a couple of uh, our latest China boards and uh, got pretty good results with uh, ZK6002. It's Fuji company developed uh, amplifier and this SAMP200. Both are built in uh, parallel bridged configurations and they have two chipsets on board. For my surprise, they become popular and a lot of comments came and uh, also I got some, some emails and typical question which was is better and uh, simplified answer is that for forum load this board performs perfect and uh, if I rate it from uh, the 10 points uh, then this has 10 points from 10 and this has 9.5 points from 10. They are very close, but uh, this board performs almost ideally and this board has some microscopic coloration. How about 8 ohms and then it's vice versa because this uh, output filter is optimized uh, for a 6 ohms and then for 8 ohms it performs better because this board for 8 ohms sounds a little bit bright. Honest answer would be that those bar boards are equal. Those boards are equal. I haven't heard too much uh, audible difference uh, for that uh, specific uh, configuration of input circuits. Both performs well. I would say that those both boards are performing equal. Regarding advantages, this board is smaller and this board is capable of 48 volt uh, power supply. You can get significant power out and this board is capable of 42 volt power supply and you can get a full potential out of this board. Nevertheless, inductors are okay and uh, everything is uh, great. Uh, you need additional cooling because even in 10 minutes uh, inside the box uh, heat sinks reaching 60-65 degrees. Can you operate at 48 volts? Actually you can but then you should optimize uh, that uh, thermal solution and add uh, high quality thermal grease or thermal paste. Uh, then you can and I did it for this board. Here I have those boards side by side and you can see that this solution uh, has a smaller footprint and is capable of full full capacity. So in, in, in some way I prefer this solution. About uh, this uh, larger board, after some hesitation I integrated also in a, in a simple box, not that, that advanced and uh, uh, it's meant to work with a, with a passive cooling. Some statements that uh, operational amplifier used in, in preamp circuits for uh, this 200 board isn't good and there are better operational amplifiers and operational amplifiers are making sense to change it and this is not good. I should say that it is a false statement uh, because here is a Amir measurements of different high-end uh, operational amplifiers and you can see outcome and all those uh, uh, neglectable changes are inaudible. No, actually results are almost the same. The price range is different. That means this is marketing. And I really recommend to listen some uh, Amir videos uh, where he is taking statement and then measuring. Amir has excellent uh, audio measurement uh, equipment setup including audio precision. This is expensive device and can measure all aspects of audio. And sometimes when you have a bold statement, it's, it's worth to, to look uh, how it uh, uh, really performs. Here is this video. Does rolling op amps make uh, amp sound better? And he has pretty long video explaining uh, different aspects of that. And if you are critically thinking for, for audio, frequencies are very low. 20 to 20 kilohertz, very low frequencies. After university I worked for uh, satellite uh, communication equipment design and then frequencies was 2 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, 12 gigahertz. Uh, those are complicated things uh, really when you should uh, take in consideration all aspects, input, input uh, device capacity, even picofarads are uh, playing significant role there, length of terminals, so many many things uh, was important uh, at those uh, at those frequencies. At audio, no, in general everything is simple. There are a couple of uh, challenging places uh, with audio design. One is a good microphone amplifier because to make a, a good microphone amplifier with uh, 60 dB gain capable to work with one millivolt signal from 
dynamic microphone, yes, it's challenging. And not all companies can make uh, low noise preamplifiers. This is difficult. You need a specific equipment, low noise equipment, uh, low noise uh, components, and then everything in the signal pass is important. And also mostly for the first stage when you have a first gain. For the second uh, amplification stage is not important anymore. And another one is a, is a size and, and thermal considerations. Rest of things today is easy. And then you really play with, with the price. And the price reduction is possible only on the a, on a power supply side and on some, some component selection. There is no magic in, in audio. And we can measure any aspect of audio. Any aspect of audio. And okay, those two amplifiers. For me, it's hard to position it, but... Um, both are performing very well. If you want to go with the 48 volts, you can, but do you elaborate a little bit uh, heat dissipation system. And uh, what I did first, I took uh, better thermo paste. And you know, there are guys in uh, computer overclocking industry where they test all test limits of. Uh, CPU and uh, and then you should cool them in a most efficient way and we can uh, gain some knowledge uh, here and there is a such a website Thomas hardware and they tested several thermo pastes but I will show you only a couple of things what you should look for a thermal paste this thermal conductivity higher number is better 15.2 is is good Seven, this here is a 14, and then we have 8.5, and the mainstream adds us this 8.5. Also, there are several ways, but uh, maximum what you get, get is about a 16, and then there is extreme, best uh, liquid metal thermal paste, thermal conductivity, and here is extreme value. This is fantastic, but you can't use it with uh, aluminum heat sinks, you need nickel copper uh, heat sinks because this is an aggressive uh, thermo paste but performance is fantastic for the audio amplifiers we can't use them so we are going down to those 15 numbers thermal solution is not uh, very good so i removed heat sinks i replaced the thermal paste for the best what i had and then to have even tension from the both screws i used uh, i used dynamometric uh, screwdriver there is predefined force how you tighten it and uh, then both sides are tightened with equal force and has a maximum parallel pressure to to chipset and uh, i found out that uh, now my heat sinks are getting hot twice as fast as before this means i did a good job because heat is transferred better and uh, uh, with a cover and uh, also working for uh, for several hours Temperature for a heat sink stabilizes on uh, 60 degrees Celsius and that's acceptable temperature. If you really want to go for 48 volt uh, power supply and you need uh, 250 watts out of this amplifier, you can get it. Will it overheat? Uh, no, probably not. After you do all those small elaborations, I would say it will not. Of course, all your box, everything will be will, will be warm, but uh, you can you can run it infinite time. I tested, yeah, on a music you can run them in infinite time. So it's not so bad as I thought at the beginning. Uh, but I prefer this amplifier because this you can run with confidence, and also it has sufficient high power capacitors it's easy to integrate it has a volume regulator this fuji 602 is a good amplifier uh, my major complaints to this is the size of the board it, 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 it's large it's difficult to implement when you put it as a separate amplifier when your power supply is separated from from board it, it's acceptable i will put cover on it yeah still decent small amplifier if you want to go for extreme you can you can locate it vertically make some support and then you have a good chimney and then it will cool as a as a hell i even can 
can feel that uh, uh, airflow like a uh, fan is working at a small RPMs if you put in this way and then then it's safe how about maximum power what is stated in promotions 600 watt per channel first I want to show you a real 500 watt per channel amplifier how does it look and what we see this is really professional grade uh, power amplifier capable of two times 550 watts output but first there are active cooling and those active coolers are working as a hell with a high rpms size of heat sinks high size of power transformer size of input capacitors so this particular power supply now has at least two kilowatt capability at least i think even more let's compare size of inductor you can see by volume it's it's uh, double or even more so and the conclusion is nevertheless in promotions uh, there are 600 per, per channel no this is maximum up to 300 maybe but it is 250 watt amplifier max what you can get out with a 48 power supply and 10 10 amps and this is really performing amplifier if you need more this is somehow feels that that it's short how much power do you need and you know there is logarithmic uh, relationship between power and uh, sound pressure level that means if you want double loudness subjectively that should sound twice louder you need four times power and for example you are making this amplifier to perfectly run at with a with a 100 watts and 100 watts is not sufficient the next logical step is at least 400 watts there's no way to go for 150 or 180 no difference practically no difference or minimalistic if you really feel short of power you should go for 400 watts and 400 watts okay 500 watts it's here alternative if you have ice power 125x2 boards with two boards also you can make a 400 watt amplifier and it really sounds amazing, yeah, really. This is step up. This is real step, step up. If you go with a plus 50 watts, no, no step up, pure marketing. And if you really want to go for end game amplifier, when you can run small shelf speakers with confidence and, uh, and uh, any size of uh, large speakers, three-way speakers, four-way speakers, then uh, here is this uh, Ice Power 1200 AS2. We have also Elder Brother, and you can recognize it by 100 volts uh, capacitors. Here you have 80 volt uh, capacitors. And this is built by the book, and those powerful amplifiers are taking that uh, Macintosh uh, high power, very expensive 30K, 30K niche. And those are built by design in a bridged way. It's the best possible uh, quality what you can get. It has uh, a 3.8. Uh, kilowatts power supply you know this large part is just a power supply to drive that amplifier so the power supply is the main is the main part for a high quality amplifier it's not a buffer stage operational amplifier and and here everything is fine there's always discussions uh hypex purify uh, ice power or any other brand uh, but this is end game amplifier if you have such type of amplifier then you should think uh, more about uh, your source your automation how easy to use your audio equipment it can drive any any system and also you can see dimensions even inductor it is 600 watt per channel and it's 600 watt per channel for 8 ohms and for 4 ohms a look at inductor size yeah uncomparable so this is properly built board board for a high power and if someone will take yes you can do 600 watts and will measure some equipment it's not built for 600 watts it's built for 300 watts per channel and and we should accept don't trust marketing i was so impressed about this board that i built a kit for that as well and summarizing two good sounding boards as i said my preferred solution is this one and accept the noise of that uh, fan 
This board performed better than I thought when I saw it in the pictures and in promotion. So I should admit that uh, my Chinese colleagues developed TPA 3255 uh, uh, chipset knowledge to level that uh, latest generation developments are excellent. Yeah, those are really excellent. And uh, price is unbeatable. Could I recommend them? Yes, I recommend them for the other guys. Could they break or uh, could they be unoperational? You pay what you get, so you can get damaged. Someone asked a review uh, another board from, from Fuji. It is a ZK3002 and when I will get it I will review. Uh, it looks promising board uh, also for me to, because due to the size it's easy to implement. They have on board uh, gain regulation, some things what could be uh, valuable when you integrate in some systems. So currently this is my pick and this is good as well. And probably I will convert it uh, later on uh, in a product. This not yet.